From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, something that was interesting to me so that it just doesn't come and go was the fact that we had fog this morning. So this is a look at the freeway just outside of Boise here or in Boise. As you see the traffic moving along the area into the fog. Eventually, of course, the sun came out and just shortly after 9 o'clock. Most of the fog was pretty much dissipated at that particular point. Uh, you just don't see fog in August. I don't ever recall actually in Boise seeing it. Not that I can remember that well, but it's kind of like 90 degrees in January. It just doesn't happen much. This is more like a spring, fall, winter kind of phenomenon. And if we didn't have all of the rain that we had with some of those thunderstorms uh, yesterday that saturated the soil, we wouldn't have seen this. Uh, but as it cleared out, the temperatures cooled down, cooler than what we normally would have in the month of August. And because of that, it started to form the fog or otherwise just a kind of a low cloud down here at the surface. So, uh, you know, we reached the saturation point which is unusual in the month of August because it's usually so dry and hot. Now, when you look at the past 20 hours and you see the temperatures from early this morning, they get down about 56 degrees or so. Some spots even a little bit cooler than that. So that was a part of it. And then when you see the temperatures starting to rise, of course, this afternoon, it was rather nice. And you may have thought, oh, it's another hot summer day, but it's actually kind of beautiful this afternoon with temperatures into the lower 80s. So here they are. 83 degrees for Boise, 84 degrees for Ontario, 82 degrees in Mountain Home. You see uh, Nampa as well as Caldwell in the lower 80s. In the mountains, temperatures are basically, basically into the 70s. And still, it continues to get hot in most of the south. And Phoenix, again, uh, had temperature up to 110 degrees for the high temperature today. And as you look here throughout the south, some temperatures that were above 100 degrees, but did cool down quite a bit in most of the north. Now here's our future cast showing the heat. And if you notice for tonight, we're going to be seeing a little of this cooler air moving in, which is nice. What we're watching are these reds. That's the heat to the south. And for tomorrow afternoon, there it comes. There it comes up later into tomorrow. As you look at Thursday, there's even a little darker red, which means more heat coming into the area. So here it is because of that southeasterly flow. So it brings up that hot air from the south. Uh, last night and this morning, we had that northwesterly flow. We still have it right now. Might be kind of slow to set up tomorrow because that switch will be more like mid afternoon from northwest to southeast. So we have these breezy conditions that were around the area. Just to let you know, those breezy conditions did help with the future cast here for the smoke. As you know, starting to clear out just a little bit. Expected to do that for this week as long as we don't have extra fires. So look at that temperature. You see the Magic Valley is into the 80s. Temperatures are coming up well into the 70s, near 80 degrees for the Western Mountains. Down here in valley locations, uh, we're back to the 90 degrees, but what would you expect? It's August 93, 91 to 93 for Boise, 91 for the high temperature in Meridian. Take a look at the seven day forecast. Yeah, the temperature goes up, but we keep it somewhere into lower to mid 90s till the end of the week. It's dry and hot. It's August and we will return.